Hello everybody, hope you're doing good today. Hope you're having a great, great day. I am because it's just a good day in the Lord and I am choosing to rejoice and growing in God. I just feel like the Lord is just unveiling so much to me right now. We've been talking about growth the last couple of days. Let me ask you a question. Are you growing? Are, are you growing in the Lord? What are you, what are you learning uh, through this process? What are you learning about God? Let me ask that. First of all, you know, I saw something in the last few weeks that just, I, I mean, for me, I, I've grown up in church. This is all I've ever known uh, from the time I was born. I, I grew up in the church and I, I've heard all the promises of God and how wonderful God is and how faithful God is. And just in the last week or two, God has just affirmed even more his faithfulness and why he's faithfulness. If you were with me on Mother's Day here or you watched us online, I ministered to you some of the last words of Jesus from the cross when Jesus said it was finished. And did you realize in John, in John chapter 19 is where that story is found, that he's on the cross, he cries it's finished, but just before he says it's done, he deals, the last person he deals with is with his mama. Now it's interesting to me that he looks at her, Mary, his mother's there, Mary, the wife of Clophis, is with her, and Mary Magdalene. There were three Marys there with John the Beloved that was there at the foot of the cross watching all of this take place. And Jesus, from the cross, in his last breath, looks down at his mom, and instead of saying, Mom, or saying to John, take care of her, he said, Woman, behold your son. And I thought, wow, what an interesting statement. And then just another verse beyond that, he says to John, or he says this, he says, woman, behold your son. And then he says to John, John, behold your mother. And I thought, why didn't you address her as mother from the cross? You just dishonored her. But what Jesus was doing, I believe with all my heart, he was fulfilling a promise that he made all the way back to the book of Genesis when, when Adam and Eve sinned in the garden and God came into the garden and he cursed the serpent and he said, now upon your belly shall you go all the days of your life and from the dust of the earth shall you eat. And he said, and the seed of the woman is going to crush your head and you're going to bruise his heel. And at that moment when Jesus said it was finished and done, it's complete, it's accomplished, he was fulfilling a promise that far back. That man that gave me a greater confidence and a greater assurance of his faithfulness like I had never seen. So that when God gives me a promise in the word, I can go to him and know that I can count on God. I may not see it at this very moment, but I'm telling you, if God spoke it, it's going to come to pass. What's the thing you've come to learn about yourself? I had to learn. I've learned some things about myself. I'm very impatient. I've learned some things. I probably already knew that. I really did already know that. I, I learned some things that there's still some fear there. There's still some things in me that need to be worked out, that I need to be more like Jesus in this hour. And, and, and it's causing me to get a pursuit of Him. I still see some things I know, some areas of procrastination that I think, wait a minute, i got to put that, i got to get busy at what what God has told me to do. He's given me an opportunity to get it done. What have you learned about others? What have you learned about others? You know, we might learn that people, we're all alike. alike. That we all have a few fears and we all have a few weaknesses and we all have some this and that and some things that maybe we all think we need to change. Maybe it's brought me closer to them. Maybe it's taught me to have more compassion towards them. Or maybe that they are more compassionate people. They're more loving. They're really sweet people that I've never given them an opportunity to know. I'm just telling you, friend, it's in this moment of time that we can grow. And we can grow in all of these areas. So as you're growing, what are you growing in? I believe we need to be growing in faith. I believe we need to be growing in the Word. I, need, I believe we need to be growing in love. I believe we need to be growing in compassion. We need to be growing. Maybe I should have put this in, up, up in the, almost the beginning. We need to be growing in the Spirit so that we can become more like Him. That a world that doesn't know Him will truly know that He is the Lord of our life. Come on, let's continue to grow in this hour.